Did you know that seaweed and fish emulsion or fish fertilizer has a lot of beneficial bacteria? Just add some fish fertilizer and seaweed, just a couple of tablespoons is enough, to a watering can and then use it on any pot that you've prepared, any container with some potting mix. It adds a lot of beneficial bacteria into the soil which will really help your plants grow very well. There is an easy way to check whether your seeds will still germinate or not and you, you don't have to waste time to sow them in the ground or in containers. All you do is take a paper towel and a little container and then take about 5 seeds out of your seed packet and then just close it and this humid environment will encourage the seeds to germinate if they are still viable. So it's an easy test, you don't have to waste any time. So after about 7 to 10 days, if you see your seeds have germinated, well, they're viable. So go ahead and plant them in your garden. There is an easy way to make holes in plastic pots. I'm using a soldering iron here. It's also called a soldering gun, same thing. And what this does is it uses heat to just go through your plastic pots just like that. And it's an easy way to make a lot of holes in your pots. Now I use a lot of plastic pots and this technique works out really well. You don't have to use a drill. Aspirin is not only good for your health, it's also good for the health of your plants. There is one plant that has immense benefits if you use aspirin and then water that plant with this aspirin solution. I'm taking two tablets of this aspirin. It's a standard 325 milligram dose. And in this two gallon watering can, I'm adding the aspirin and then water. Tomatoes. They are the one plant that benefit immensely from this aspirin solution that's given to them. So just make sure you water the foliage thoroughly and it helps the tomato plants fight a lot of diseases, especially fungal diseases. If you have a lot of eggshells in your house, you can put them to very good use. Eggshells are a great source of calcium for your plants and it also adds a lot of nutrition benefit to your compost pile. So just blend your eggshells together so that it forms a fine powder and this fine powder lets it disintegrate very quickly in your bin and then just add it to your compost bin and mix thoroughly. It's a great addition to your compost bin. Epsom salt is the secret to growing great peppers, eggplants and tomatoes in your garden. A lot of soils are deficient in magnesium and sulfur and that's exactly what Epsom salt contains. Just add 4 teaspoons to 2 gallons of this watering can or you can use 1.5 tablespoons. For established plants you can use 2 tablespoons for 2 gallons and then water the foliage thoroughly. This works great for tomatoes peppers, as well as eggplants. To make a quick trellis, you just need some garden tape and three stakes. All you do is take the garden tape and wrap it around the three stakes by holding them together. And what this does is the garden tape forms a, a little bit of a seal around these stakes, holding them together and you're done. When you expand these stakes, they form a very nice trellis. Your trellis can be used by a lot of climbing plants. It can be used by peas, by beans and a lot of other climbing plants. Do you like the milky white cauliflowers that you get at the supermarket? Well, there's an easy way to do that at home too. Just hold the leaves of the cauliflower plant together and then just use a little garden tape to tie them lightly. And what this does is it lets the cauliflower be a lot wider when you harvest it. Now I use a lot of plant tags to mark my plants. I'm using this rubbing alcohol. Make sure you get the 91% rubbing alcohol. And just take a paper towel, get some alcohol. For the tags that you've already written on, just rub them with this rubbing alcohol. Rubbing alcohol easily removes marks by a permanent marker. So as you can see here, very easy to remove. 
and for all those stubborn stains that do not go away that way what you can do is just uh, put some rubbing alcohol in a little dish and then keep all your plant tags inside it this is a very easy way to reuse plant tags and save a little bit of money by leaving them in the solution they will dissolve eventually and then you can just use the paper towel again to just rub it off completely a very easy way to use plant tags save money and make sure what your plants are a tip that i always do to accelerate my composting process is to lay out all my leaves and my compost material and then just run the lawn mower over it the lawn mower blades automatically chop up the dried leaves and the compost material it, it, it will even crush your eggshells your leaves your stems and what this does it, it it's an easy way to create a finer particles and finer particles will decompose much faster as you can see here it's all shredded and ready to go to the compost bin so as you can see the finer your particles are the faster it will decompose so this is a really neat tip it's a very easy to use tip to accelerate your composting process so i hope you like these 10 gardening tips if you like our videos please do give us a thumbs up if you're not already a subscriber do subscribe to our channel and we'll see you again soon happy gardening